I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right it feels Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, HRS Jaeger. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell button icon thing, Majiggy. And, you know, if you do enjoy the video, please do like. Like, one like equals one brain cell and your boy is kind of retarded as fuck because he's got very few brain cells. So, this video is going to be different in many ways. And one of the main reasons why it is different, it's because... This is a gaming channel and I am speaking about animals. If the video does do well, I am making a second channel just for the animals. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but you know, um, this channel is, uh, I mean, this video on this channel is kind of weird, but I thought I'd just upload it because I already recorded and stuff. So yeah, this is about ultimate exotics, whether they are a scam or not. People are scared about it. They think that Ultimate Exotics are going to take the money and run, but they're really not. So guys, at this point, I'm just finding random ass clips, gameplay clips, to speak over, to explain, and it does look a bit screwed up, but ah, fuck it. So, there are a couple ways of paying on Ultimate Exotics. You can either use this website or app called Paygate, or you could bank deposit or EFT the money into the account accounts, Take a screenshot of the bank statement that you get emailed to you and you go and send it to them. You could forward it to them or you could um, send them a PDF um, form through your Google Drive. And I don't recommend the Google Drive PDF thing if you do not know how to properly use Google Drive because that's where I screwed up. But, I, I mean, I did not know how to use the Google Drive. I'm a retarded motherfucker with five brain cells, you know what I mean? So, my the PDF was locked, and they did not... Um, okay, I would expect them to call me and let me know what's going on. But I had to call them for them to tell me they could not uh, view the PDF because it was locked. The PDF of the payment, or proof of payment. That just let me down, but, I mean, the quality, the service... Everything is just so good, and the quality is amazing of the animals and foods and stuff, so... he I think from Ultimate Exotics, I ordered, um, mealworms. I ordered a feeding tongs, they call it feeding tweezers, and a Tremperel Bino Leopard Gecko. So, people say it's a scam. I know it's not. I've been in-store, and I've seen the stuff, I've seen the quality, and it's absolutely good. Now, this tub of mealworms. It's just full with mealworms. There's no substrate, which is totally fine. I can, you know, go and sort this shit out myself. I would prefer to buy mealworms like this. This was 110 bucks for 250 grams of just plain mealworms. And other places sell them per gram or, I mean, like for a couple of grams for a certain amount, but it's including the substrate. Okay, they actually took the time to go and serve and separate these guys. Also, the tweezers, tongs, whatever you call them. This is it. It's metal. It's super good quality. It is 120. There is their logo. I can't focus it. The lighting is bad. And my camera. Honestly, I don't know why the shit upside down. It is upside down. So, fuck. Yeah. Okay, get super close. No. Okay, so that's their logo, and this is about 25 centimeters, they said. It's pretty good. You can hear that, that metal quality is pretty good. And right now, I have this Tremper albino in a smaller tub or container. I always keep my animals in small containers as they grow. I change it out. But this is my Tremper albino. Really healthy, really fast. I know the payment method is kind of sketchy. You may think they're going to run away with your money, but trust me, they're not. So let me just... I'm going to pause right now, put my camera on a tripod, and I am going to show you the leopard gecko. One and a half, one years old. She has metabolic bone disease on her right hand. Right. Right there. That's because I will show you what I was using, and I had no idea. It's absolute garbage. I was using this brand over here. Ugh. I can't really. <laughs> All weird angles. This brand right here. 
<laughs> don't get this brand. Man, that brand don't get it. Mm -mm. It ain't good, man. That shit's just whack. So, yeah, this. <laughs> I named it Sozo. I had no name. And, oh shit. I remember Zozo because once we played the Ouija board and we. And also, we had some. <laughs> shit. They just moved. I got. I have a poltergeist in my house, y'all. They'll make things go crazy or some shit, but now nah, shit moves around, shit gets thrown at me in my room, usually. So, yeah. I named this Zozo. This girl, she's about one. About one. Not one and a half years. She is about a month over one year old. But I can't remember. But she is a bit too light to breed, and I don't. Because of the metabolic bone disease, I don't think I'll breed her, but I mean, it's not so bad. It should not really affect her health. So she is almost at the weight when she should be breeding. It is not season right now. I don't know if there's even a season, but I know in the warmer months, they do breed like crazy. So, yeah. They ain't doing nothing now for me. I tried at least. And then she was a bit... Um, she wasn't eating for a while because when I put the mail in, she was a bit scared and stuff. And the male was a little bit aggressive, but then they stopped fighting and started living happily. So, yeah. I would show you the corn snake, but the corn snake just ate. Oh, wait, the ball python. The ball python just ate. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me. Or she doesn't bite me. I just managed to pop her the other day. No, it's not 100% accurate. But I'm just letting it. Giving it the benefit of the doubt because I did not see no peens, heavy peens. So, this is my ball python. Um, haven't named her or named it as yet. Anybody got names? Let me know. Anybody knows what morph this is? Let me know. There is definitely spider in this morph. I've seen the head wobbles, I've seen corkscrews, and I hate corkscrews so much. But I just bought this little snake because... This was my first ball python, got it for 950 and um, I thought it looked pretty cool. Now I saw, uh, what's the thing? I saw normals, I saw clowns, I saw Mo mojaves, and I saw bumble I've seen bumblebees um, in the store. But I think this, this one looked a lot better than all of those. Actually the mojave looked pretty good, but it was very skinny and uh, not looking so great, and it wasn't really looking good, not healthy whatsoever, but like, I don't know if that thing died, it might have died, that's why it's not there, or somebody bought it, but this um, snake was not eating when I got it, it was tiny and not eating, but after two assist feeds, it started eating, or like, real crazy, it's, it's crazy how fast ball pythons learn to eat, like, <laughs> Ball pythons learn to eat really fast. Like my corn snake, I'm still force feeding it. Assist feeding doesn't work, and it does not eat. It was grown up eating live. Also, this um, girl over here, or whatever <laughs> gender it is, I'm assuming it's a girl from, you know, after I said it, but she was fed live only, and yeah, she was not eating frozen thawed, or thawed frozen, <laughs> whatever you call it. So. Yeah, that's that's my animals for now. I'm gonna be getting more. If you guys live in South Africa and want to, you know, buy quality animals for quality prices, go to Ultimate Exotics. Um, and yeah, just order it. The payment method, the payment method may be a bit sketchy. And if you are sending them a PDF, make sure that if you send the, sending them a PDF through your, um. What's this thing? Your, your Google Drive? Your Google Drive. Make sure that it is not locked. Because if it is locked, they they don't contact you to let you know that it's locked and they did not receive a payment um, thing. Um, they, they, I don't know. They, they're a bit kind of off on that. I had that problem um, just the other day. So I called them. I got the owner Rolf's number. And yeah, I, watched it, I WhatsApped him a screenshot of the proof of payment and they sent my order out immediately and I got it today so yeah if anybody thinks it's a scam anybody's skeptical about shit from ultimate exotics trust me it's pretty good I went in store because I was afraid that it was a scam or something like that I went in store and they nice they take you through a whole tour of the facility 
to show you everything. I got to see a highball ball fight, an in person, a, a pretty big one that is. I've seen one in person at um, Northlands, but and that that's pretty small. So yeah, I, sh I don't know. Just you know, I feel really, really uh, afraid. Trust me. This is. This is the receipt from Ultimate Exotics. Um, yeah, this is the re receipt from Ultimate Exotics. It's legit. I don't work with them. I don't work for them. I am not getting paid by them at all. This video is not sponsored by anybody. I just thought I would let people know that they're not a scam because I've seen so many comments that, oh, they took my money and ran away and stuff like that. But it's not true. It's people that think that they are a scam are trying to ruin them. It's so not true. People just lie. They are legit. They're, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just the payment method that's a bit off, but yeah, they're good. So this is the end of the video. So guys, if you'll enjoy that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Bell button, icon, thingy, mojiggy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And also, if y'all do enjoy these videos, I am going to be making more. And if it is popular, I'm going to start another YouTube channel. I am going to go to Ultimate Exotics just to record if they give me permission and you know because people are scared people think they are still a scam people may think I am working with them and stuff but I will go to Ultimate Exotics and show all the animals.